as the light expands, we expand on our innate joy. And it's not a random thing. It's all a part of the process. Whatever emotion, whatever arises in the moment, wherever the light shines as it expands in us and through us and all around us. Good morning. It's Josephine, and I wanted to jump on this morning and share some clarity that came through after my meditation this morning and doing my journaling. And what I observed with myself is that so often we might even get caught up in the mind the ego mind wants to grab a story from even our present practices our meditation practices and try to make it a reason why we can't continue for example sitting fully in presence the moment the aspects of the broader self using the analogy of our higher self or the divinity within being light because it's expanding will shed light on aspects of what some may call the shadow or you know it's the stories of the ego mind that we had hidden from ourselves or maybe even better said that it was such a practiced habit such a consistent pattern that had such momentum that again it became habit so we're not in awareness of that behavior that pattern that is actually being repeated and or kind of at the same repressed so to speak because it's not been seen so in the process of these present moment meditations as our energy the light of us expands we become more aware being aware that we're aware these things these patterns show up for the opportunity to be seen and then they do automatically transmission transmute or transition just out of the experience of of sitting with it so to speak and allowing it being that compassionate loving spaciousness that is okay with that sensation those emotions without getting caught up into it but that's not the only thing that happens during these present moments. It's also, as the light expands, we expand on our innate joy. And it's not a random thing. It's all a part of the process. Whatever emotion, whatever arises in the moment, wherever the light shines as it expands in us and through us and all around us and so in that natural because it is natural to have these higher frequencies and that's why we as the light energy that we are expands it loosely clears the path So as I'm doing my journaling and expressing appreciation and gratitude, some of the things that came more easily that my awareness went to 
that's not an everyday awareness, especially when we're caught in the mind, was even the appreciation and pleasure of holding a pen, having that pen that I could use as a utility to write and express words and appreciation, having appreciation for the process that brought me to that now moment, which is now in my past, which, you know, is everything from the stores that that sold the utility, you know, the people that delivered it, the ability for vehicles and the creations of those vehicles and the creations of the factories and the factories that made the pens and the ink and the people involved and the, all the way to the person, the, the idea. There had to be an inspiration, an idea that was a non-physical aspect and yet it is still a manifestation that came into the physical experience. That all of these cooperative aspects that were in their now moments were all a part of the glorious moment of the now that I was having in writing in my journal. And now being able to, in this now, express that verbally and feel feel the joy the momentum behind the joy that is calling me forward from moment to moment which also leads to strong clarity and awareness that when we talk about the power of now or the power of presence, being fully present, being fully present in the moment the ego might say, well then I'm not doing anything, but it, that's not true. Because practice of the intention of the act of fully being in full body fully present fully expanded but blended merged from the physical aspect to the energetic aspect of being of consciousness of awareness allows the fullness of an ability to recognize more in this experience right now in this moment and to be with it you know as I talk I, I experience not only the translation through my ears of the sounds of the birds but I feel the sensation of the fullness of life, sensing the energy of not just the vibrancy, the aliveness of my cells and atoms, my body, these, but the air around me, the briskness, the sun, the sensation of warmth. Closing my eyes even to, to sense the proxi proximity of my own energy, my own being, my own field, my body, in relationship to the surroundings that I'm in. Being, being present is the most powerful doing. And that in itself inspires other actions and doing that is actually more in alignment with the whole of self that calls forward. So this act that we might be call being spiritual or being present 
cause us through to the next and the next. There's always momentum. We are energy. Everything is energy. There's continual motion. And so we are assured to be called forward and called forward more so into action and doing of activities that are more genuinely aligned with the whole of what we are as an individuated expression of divine energy realizing itself collectively because we are truly in all in this all together even realizing that with the appreciation of the pen and the process we are all in this together but we add without having to think it into being to that collective by being in the fullness of who or what we are showing up as right now.